Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is our walkthrough of Crawling Chaos versus Black Goat. Uh, turn number seven. It is definitely been a learning experience and it's also uh, fun. And it's also Black Goat is kind of getting the short end of the stick here. Plus, me, me uh, skipping out some of the rules. I'm sure you guys are screaming at me through the videos and the comments. So, uh, hey, I, 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 I want to call back to this mechanic here. This is the unique ability. So I was using the Crawling Chaos um, flying two space moves, but I did not use that Fertility Cult. So I'm going to use this ASAP, and hopefully um, Black Goat can catch up. There's always some... Uh, Yogg-Sothothery involved, especially in me learning the rules. So thanks for your patience, everyone. Um, the more I play through these, the better I'll get at them. So uh, it's definitely fun to work through the mechanics. And uh, thanks for helping me along with your comments. Uh, like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing here. Check out my painting videos and uh, my Eldritch Horror videos. It's Cthulhu month. And also be going to be wrapping up the month with a Cthulhu Death May Die. So uh, thanks a lot for your support. Okay, uh, it is round seven. We're back into the action phase. Um, and I will go to a move. And I will also recapture this gate. And I will actually move him to recapture this gate. So this is... Uh, We've got two of them there. Okay, so we've got two moves to get us some gate recapture. And we can do that summoning trick next round if it's possible. Uh, okay, so let's see. For Crawling Chaos character. Um, oh, well, oops. Crawling Chaos went first. So let's just have them go first. It's fine. Uh, Crawling Chaos will also spawn another of the uh, got it in the box over here another polyp so they've got night gaunts they've got polyp spawned all of their gates are covered uh, we can use that polyp from their ability to pull characters right out of play uh, and exempt from battles. So we've got three of those now. So that means three of our units can basically def be defenseless. So that was the, the well, that was retroactively the first turn. Then it's crawling, uh, then it's Black Goat's turn. So now uh, action phase one is done. Let's go action phase two. That's crawling chaos again. So crawling chaos now will start to mobilize. Uh, their cultists and I think what they will do is they will come to uh, they will use uh, this eliminate one or more night gaunts in the battle so they will remove this night gaunt and they will also remove a, a cultist from the board so they've traded a monster down for a cultist but they're no longer in this position which is what uh, Black Goat was trying to add more regions. So that is another blow for Black Goat. Uh, next, let's take a look at... Uh, uh, it is now Black Goat's turn, and they will do a monster spawn again, and they will spawn... Uh, let's see... They will spawn a, num a number of fungi from Yugoth. So these fungi from Yugoth have been, uh, their, their cost is one each. And they will spawn both of these on this place. And they will move down two. So Black Goat has moved. Uh, and I think now we're back to Crawling Chaos. I do want to save their five here for the uh, I'm just going to put this marker here I want to have them save 5 for their uh, 
to do the ritual track uh, to do the annihilation rituals of annihilation next round so uh also this round so what they will do is they will use the polyps for pre-battle okay we're not quite at battle yet let's have um, them move one and one and to take on these two figures actually here and the next one will fly in immediately so these two are here they're all that ocean connects to this side so we'll have that set up and they will do a battle uh, a move of two to move that so that is their move and now uh, it is the black goat's turn black goat has the ability to a shared area with the enemy that's a shared area with the enemy we get another card so with shared ed area with the enemy we say um, uh, if Shub, uh, Shub Nigroth is in play we have fewer one power each to summon so let's go with that that's a power improvement for us and we'll play that that as a ongoing uh, spell that we gain automatically and then we'll also do another um, I think we can do a move as well so he can move well maybe he should stay here I think we can do something with our roll one die um, this is a two-pointer if the result is equal to less than the number of areas containing fungi, your enemy must eliminate cultists equal to the roll. Okay, so let's take this action, the Groth. So we've got one, two fungi. Let's try to let's try to roll that. Roll one die for the enemy. Two equal to or less than okay it's it's equal to or less than your enemies must roll your enemies must eliminate cultists equal to the roll between them so two cultists have to be disbanded and I think that they will uh, crawling chaos will disband these two cultists because they're not um, on a gate so these two cultists are out of action so finally Black Goat has some comeback. Uh, that cost them two. So they're down to three. But now there's a battle here uh, that's ensuing. So do I have a pre-battle action? Nope, just create gates. Uh, we can spawn more monsters, but that's it. Fungi can that's just to make that and then one more eliminate that's an action okay so it's now turn is over back to crawling chaos the next action phase for crawling chaos they will do a battle so they'll move down to 14 uh, and now the battle will be also they have the card that says your um, immediately move any or all hunting horrors from the area into battle uh, so we will move this hunting horror into battle so now we've got nine uh, ten for Nyarlathotep six seven eight nine nine ten we've got ten plus two and plus two versus our four uh, black goats four uh, crawling chaos 10 uh, 14 to the black goats four and amazingly only one um, death and the rest are retreats and fantastically he's going to retreat here to this gate uh, we also do get to roll our simultaneous attack to see if there's any counter attack here and uh, misses 
Oh, actually, there's one retreat, and they can retreat back to here. Okay, so that is that. Okay, so action phase completed. Uh, attack by Crawling Chaos. It's now the turn of um, Black Goat to play. They will also, now that they've got this, it, can, it, it costs one point fewer, so they will spawn another uh, two Fungi or another Black Goat. They will spawn a Black Goat, uh, which will only cost them two, so now they're down to one. And they can spawn this right here, uh, right here, and have this here. Back to crawling chaos. Uh, they will also summon a cultist to get back their cultist that they lost here, costing them one. And uh, they'll retain their, they'll retain that. Back to black goat's turn. They will. Uh, do a move. Actually, they will spawn a. They will spawn a ghoul. For one. Uh, right here, spawn a ghoul. And the spawning of the ghoul. Spellbook necrophagy. Move in your old ghouls who did not participate in the battle. Okay, that's the next one we can do. So how many areas do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't get that eight yet. We have not yet spawned uh, the black goat himself, so we're still waiting on that. Uh, so power is out for black goat. And Crawling Chaos will uh, also spawn the last cultist again. We'll spawn a cultist here. Uh, recruit a cultist, bringing them down, and then uh, we will now go into gather power phase as they will want to use their extra points to do the ritual track. So, uh, so first let's go to ga uh, gather power phase. The power per cultist is uh, for crawling chaos one, two, three, four, five, six. They've gained back all their cultists, so they've got six. One, two, Plus for their gates, one, two, three, four. So it puts them over 20. So they're they're back to the top for their for their power phase. Um, they uh, for black goat, they have one, two, three, four cultists. And then they have um, one, two, three gates. So two, four, six, they're at 10. Three gates, and that is all for them. And then uh, that's, that's that for action and for gather power phase. Uh, again, Crawling Chaos has 20 power. They're at a total advantage. I think this will be the crushing blow by turn eight. Uh, but let's see how, how they can do. But they will do their ritual of uh, annihilation so we move the ritual of annihilation to six we take out five bringing us down to 15 and ritual of anni annihilation so they're going to earn one doom per controlled gate so they've got one two three four one uh, oops one two three four gates uh plus one elder sign per faction great old one so we'll go to the, the bag and we'll pull out an Elder Sign. And we'll place the Elder Sign here. So they got one Elder Sign. Take a look at it. Okay. Okay, so Elder Sign is in place. Um, okay, so they have done 
their they've advanced doom uh, and also it is wrapping up of turn seven so he see you back on turn eight uh, let me know if I did something wrong probably did and uh, thanks for you guys uh, for watching um, it's been been fun to play it uh, turn eight click on the link ahead check out my painting uh, and channel like and subscribe to support me and uh, looking forward to finishing off the game next round thanks a lot everyone bye bye